Yo, what is good you guys? We are back with another vlog and this time I'm gonna try and show you guys a lot of things that I use when I vlog and when I travel. Back in 2022, I traveled to quite a few different countries. Well, I guess only technically four. I went, I went, I was in the US, which I obviously am right now. I went to Canada, I went to Pakistan, and I went to the UK. Well, I guess UK does count as two countries though, because I did go to England and Scotland. You know what? Yeah, let's make that five countries. I had so much fun last year traveling in different countries. It was my first time after 12 years actually flying in a plane. And my first time actually trying to vlog my experience as well as I'm traveling. There's a lot of things that I learned to do and not to do and what to bring and not to bring. And some new gear that I bought that I think is gonna make my life a lot easier. All right, but let's get started. Obviously the very first thing that I actually need in the vlog is the camera itself. This was my very first vlogging camera, the Canon M50 with this, what was it? It was a 10 to 18 millimeter lens. Honestly, looking back, this thing's actually pretty good. This is my old camera, uh, I guess my backup camera now. If you just started out with vlogging, you really don't know how to use a camera, I do recommend using this. This can go to 4K, but I mainly just use it as 1080p because there's a very heavy crop on this camera if you use 4K. But my main camera now that I'm actually recording with, I bought back in September, it was the Sony Alpha A7 IV. I absolutely love the quality and the autofocus on this thing, and I can actually record in 4K without that heavy crop, like the, unlike my uh, older camera. I do, I do kind of regret buying it. Don't get me wrong, it's a good camera. It does overheat. It is a bit heavier than the my old camera. And it's a bit more pricey, but it still is a very good high quality camera to use. My, this is actually, before I bought the Canon M50, I bought the GoPro. Uh, I really had no idea what I was doing with cameras or anything like that. So I decided to buy this thing and it's the GoPro Hero 9. I usually just use this camera if it's too dangerous to use my main camera, I think it's gonna get broken or if I need to be underwater or something like that. All right, next I got my Studio Beats headphones. I got, I think two years ago, it was like half, I remember it was before coronavirus. I got this for half off at Target. But as you guys can see, it is starting to wear off a little bit. I love to wear these in the airplane when it's so loud and you just wanna like cancel some noise out. I put these bad boys on. The only problem that I don't like about this is that it is a bit too big and I kind of wish I just had those separate like, uh, I AirPods or like other wireless headphones that just stick into my ear and it's a lot easier to travel with and just carry with you. But yeah, 75 bucks for this thing is not bad at all. When it comes to microphones, I mainly use the one that I'm using right now on my camera, the shotgun mic for from Rode. But for certain situations, I just like to use the wireless microphone if I'm too far away or if I think it's gonna be too windy or too loud or something and I think I need to have the microphone up, up way closer to my mouth. I'll hook this thing on the camera and then hook this to my, ugh, my hair's in the way, to my chest. This is the same. My mom's here. <laughs> All right. But anyway, yeah, this is a pretty good high quality microphone. All right, next are some Apple AirTags that I bought right before my trip to London. I haven't had to use these things just to yet, like to find like a lost item, but it, but it is always nice to know where my stuff is at and that it gives me like some sort of peace of mind knowing like, you know, Yes, my they did actually transport my stuff all the way from point A to point B, and it's uh, not too far away from me. If I'm doing it, if I have a checked luggage, or if something does get lost, I'm I'm able to find it. All right, listen, if you are traveling, or even honestly, if you're not traveling, this is something everybody should have. It's a power bank. This thing is amazing. Like this thing charges up like a lot of the stuff, a lot of the gear that I have. This thing will be able to charge it up. I was in Pakistan and. Obviously the electricity goes out there all the time and I need electricity, you know, to charge my things up. And main times like the outlets would be in pretty bad spots. So I really wasn't be able to charge things at night to, like right next to my bed, like my phone. I would just hook this thing up to my phone and it would charge completely fine. I have an iPhone 13 Pro and I think I can charge it up like three to four times before this thing actually dies out. But what I can also charge is my brand new DJI Mini Pro 3 drone. You guys saw my last vlog, I was flying this thing around for the very first time. And I never really realized how fun it actually is to drive, uh, to drive, to fly one of these things in the air. The thing with this is that you don't even realize that's about to die because you've been having so much fun. And it was just, your remote starts, this is the DJI uh, Pro, whatever it's called, uh, RC remote. And this thing will start beeping like crazy when your drone's about to die. It'll literally make itself return back home. All right, next I got the stuff that I actually store my footage with. When I first started vlogging, I bought this thing. It was the four terabyte uh, hard drive that I'm sure you've seen many, many YouTubers use. And it's not too bad for its price, but the thing that I really don't like about it is that it's pretty heavy. It takes up a lot of space. And this thing is way more prone to actually like losing your data and your valuable uh, footage. 
because it's a hard drive, there's a lot of moving parts in the inside. You know, you can hear when you plug it into your computer, like there's like a fan or something spinning in there. And you know, if you like shake this thing up and make, and drop it way too much, I know there's like a protective cover and stuff, but if you drop it, like there's a very good chance you're just gonna lose a lot of your footage. And then so about like two weeks ago, I bought this four terabyte SSD. Oh my God, I'm dropping it already. Which I absolutely love. It's way smaller, it's lighter. It's a lot faster than the and than the hard drive. And not only that, it will actually keep your data, all your information, all your files, all your footage way safer. I just wanna see the size comparison. This thing literally like fits in right there to whatever this thing is. Highly recommend if you got a little extra money to buy this instead of this. I don't know why, I always thought this was like a phone case. But it's actually made so you can hook it onto something. All right, next, oh. I got my M1, forgot the uh, chip. Okay, so this is the MacBook Pro 14 inch from 2021. Yeah, so it has the Apple M1 Pro chip and it has 16 gigabytes of memory. Way better than my old MacBook Pro. I think it, it had like eight gigabytes of memory. Didn't have really the best CPU. And I wasn't able to record, I'm not, not record, I wasn't able to, and I wasn't really able to re edit videos on it as well. It was just super slow and it would freeze up my computer. So before I went to Pakistan, I decided to buy this thing and I absolutely love it. And one thing I actually absolutely love about this is that there's an actual SD card reader built into the laptop. Technology wise, that's honestly just about it. There are a few more things I guess I could buy to improve my vlogging setup, like a like a gimbal or something. I know DJI has this pretty good like small mini one, but I don't know, I guess I'll see what I'll do. All right, so just a couple last few bag items that I got uh, that I hold everything. The fanny pack chest strap bag that I got just like a week before I went to London. Holds all my small things and I hope, oh, I bought dude bikes before I went to London and I did not open these at all, so. Still have these. And I just carry like my extra batteries and stuff in here. I still have my GoPro battery right there. And a few other cables that I think I might need on the go. And then finally, I have the bag that I put all the gear you just saw in. I think I bought this for like 60, 70 bucks on Best Buy. Fits most of my stuff. It has this nice little under area right here where, where I keep like all my camera gear and stuff. Oh, this is actually my convertible outlet thing for when I travel. And then this is at my GoPro handle. I also have locks right here on, on both, both zippers, both major zippers where I keep all my valuable stuff. It's not that bad, but when traveling, I don't like, I really don't like having more than one bag. It can just be a super big hassle having to like lug like two, three different bags around with your clothes and your camera gear and all that type of stuff. So this morning I bought this new bag where it's, it's gonna be a bit bigger than this. Hopefully I, I it'll keep everything that I just showed you guys. Plus at least like if, hopefully like a week's worth of clothes. And if I can do that, I think I'll be chilling. Anyway, you guys, that's all the gear that I use as of February 2023. Yo, if you guys also vlog, let me know what you guys use as your gear. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.